That's enough for today, Ossian. Bunch of insecure hotheads in a ring. There's more to being a knight than swinging a blade around. Especially a wooden one. How do you mean? Well, never mind what I mean. You do what you want. Thanks. Huh? Thanks, Osgar. And don't wear out your arms. That blade's got to be heavy for you. You, my lady. Where did you happen upon those? Oh, nowhere. These aren't just any ordinary apples. Oh? These are magical apples. Whoever eats one will be able to read another's mind for a short while. That sounds magical indeed. And I am starved. How much should I take one off your hands? I would trade you for the tail feather of a blue jay. I can use them to tell the future. Maybe another time, Marion. On the King's Trail where legends are raised, can't a man dream to be great someday? Can't a man dream when the knights will he join? I highly doubt it because some bloke took your coin. What are you seeing? Ah, oh, I see everything. Trees, leaves. Some guy stealing your bag of coins. Oh. It's a monster. He's evil and mysterious, and he's hoarding all this gold like a dragon just sitting on a pile of money. Something like that. The little Nessa took the bag of coins before I could get to him. It's true. It's true. I saw it. I saw it. And then he went off that way. Aren't you going to fight this monster? Not now, Marion. But you're a hero. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm a peasant with a wooden sword and no money. Never judge a book by its cover. You see? What? That's him. That's the monster. Just sitting over there, looking all evil and mysterious. Where are you going? Ossian. Good day. Are you from the forest? Just outside it. There's not many people in the area. I'm surprised we haven't met. I'm Osian. Lorak. Well met. My friend just over there has made an unfortunate mistake. Go ahead. Well, She thinks you're like... She thinks that she's seen a monster. She's like a dragon sitting on a pile of gold. 
and plans to terrorize the King's Road. That is unfortunate. Shall I go and speak with her? Uh, see, she, uh, she thinks she can use enchanted objects. Like, she can see things that the naked eye cannot. Like scary monsters. I think she has a hard time separating fantasy from reality. Forgive me for saying so, but it seems the three of us share a common flaw. But that's not stopping me. The world is full of people who are happy to tell you what you can't be. I try not to be one of those people. Those well, I need to believe they're wrong. I suggest we face off. Parade a few times, make it look like you scared me off. I'm glad we've met. Likewise. Nothing personal, I just needed the money. This should be enough to enter the competition. How did you? I had my suspicions. I suspected the same about yourself. 
I'm gonna need some practice before I get into another fight. Go ahead and take it. Oh. It doesn't take a magic apple to see there's something special about you. Work. <laughs> you have one ox of an arm. Ocean? About the apples, um. Someone did believe me. And I sold them. You should take it. Marion. You know, you can always come home, right? I could trade for the tail feather of a blue jay. I can use it to tell the future. Well, you two have a competition to enter. <laughs> Get some rest. Wait. But dreams can come true and be gone of your shackle. You'll see in time, you'll discover your. Apple.